one of the things that you can see right when you walk in, you come in and it's going to open to a beautiful uh, boat basin, which is actually where Charles had his yachts and where they would turn around and bring his things. Today it's taken over by the manatees. What is magical is kind of seeing how much history and heritage we have actually in Florida. Many times we don't see that. We think that of um, the U.S. and uh, Florida in particular as a young area. This is very, very old land. People thought that Florida had been inhabited up to 4,000 years ago, and actually through that process, um, it's actually known to be 10,000 years ago. So there were saber-toothed cats, uh, there were woolly mammoth. I mean, this area was completely different. It's very interesting to be to come and visit the estate. You come to historic homes and sometimes the one doesn't know what to expect. There is the Richmond Cottage, which was the southernmost uh, inn in Florida at, the, at its time. So it's, it's actually an inn. Every room has a restroom, of course, because people were lodged there. But um, Charles actually lived there and then had his stone house built. At the time, you might recall that the Great Chicago Fire happened. So what you can see are brass clad doors and actually he kept the kitchen outside of the main house and kept it in the cottage. Um, another interesting feature is, of course, this is the 20s. And if you remember the 20s, you might remember Prohibition. to do. You can come, rest a little bit, enjoy the bay view, and then also explore. His collections include many, many different things. He has interesting art by Ramon Casas and John Singer Sargent. If you come, you can see actually the estate set up as it was when he lived here. What the foundation does is actually work with county staff who's responsible for the operations of the estate and we work on getting grants. Um, we work on actually uh, bringing funds to the estate to be able to enhance the contribution that the county does. Getting people to understand the scale and the scope of what we have available to us here in the Deering Estate is, is a challenging thing to do. Our vision is that the Charles Deering Estate is preserved for this and all generations. So this is the team's first trip to the Deering Estate. So Jade, what did you like most? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to start it. So Jade, what did you like most? I think I found a really great place to run in Miami. And me, just like Nussberry Farm, I loved everything about it. And Will? Oh, Will, you're working. You're at an inspection. <laughs> guess you'll have to come another I guess you're gonna have to come another time. If you wanna see more of us, go to mustseemiami.tv.